Hello everyone, welcome to Illustra Plans. My name is Crystal Cedar and today we are setting up my 2021 December Happy Planner Classic Holiday Planner. I'm a little behind but I wanted to kind of show you what I've done so far and also finish it up and kind of inspire people who are also running a little late <laughs> with planning their holiday planners or transitioning from November to December still to this day like I was that it's not too late. Give yourself like two hours and and hopefully um, you can kind of like work with what you have already in your stash. I know one of the biggest excuses that I had last year when this happened was I didn't have stuff that I could use to plan uh, or create um, personalization in my custom planner with. And uh, I don't want that to be an excuse this year. <laughs> and even though I'm running a little, a little late again this year, I think I had gathered enough stuff over last year's holiday sales and clearances and blowouts that I could comfortably put something together without going back out to Joanne's or Michael's to add more stuff when I could just put it all together. So this is my duende. <laughs> I found it at Michael's. Uh, he doesn't have a name yet, but uh, duende is what we call the little people in the Philippines and in most Spanish colonized countries. So this is my duende. <laughs> okay, so this is a Recollections cover and I de-ringed it just like my... I'm going to show you here. I'll take this out for now. I de-ringed it just like I did my black recollections binder there were three colors of this size this is like pretty close to an 8x10 and they had the black one which is my current catch-all planner cover and then they had this kind of pearly white off-white it's not pink it's not white it's just kind of pearlescent uh, and this was my uh, cover from last year for 2020 for 2020 so I got all three and do ring them and then I've been using them, but this was the last one that I needed to de-ring. So I got that done, added the brads, because I'm not creative enough to find anything else right now. And it does the trick, and it's cute. And I decided to do a pastel explosion theme this year. Because I am coming out of a big, uh, kind of like, moody florals period in my black cover and so now I wanted something light, something happier, something higher frequency uh, to get through December, the hooplas of December. So this is a piece of scratch paper. It's not being glued or anything. I'm going to slip it in here just for some kind of like visual interest. It's such a big far cry from what I have in my, even my spiritual journal. I'm pagan, so I don't really celebrate Christmas, but my family does. They're Catholic, and so I support them. And I still say, like, Merry Christmas, but for myself, I practice and observe the ancient way. Um, and it's kind of like, you have more freedom, I think, because I used to be really stuck on, oh, well, I got everything. Everything has to be green and blue and red for Yule and all the traditional colors. But sometimes you just want fun, because that's what you're needing, like, energetically. Give you a boost every time you open it. Because uh, ideally, we want to be planning in our planners every day, right? So, uh, just putting in a piece of scratch paper. There was this amazing scrapbook paper pad called Sugar Plums last year. Uh, you'll probably see, like, a lot of the pastel -y kind of pink planners, Christmas planners, from a couple of years, uh, like last year and then the year before that, with the cool Santa, and it was like very pink and white. I didn't get that one at that time. I don't know why. I liked it, but it was just like, it was like, it was like a lot of pink. And then I was, I regretted it <laughs> instantly, but then they came out with this one last year and I was like, I need this in my life. If I were a scrapbook paper pad, I would be Sugar Plums. It has so many beautiful pastels. I love pastels. I love Hello Kitty. I love Sanrio. I'm like one of those kawaii kids from the 80s. So I loved everything about it. So cute. Uh, my favorites were the the little houses. Like anything, any paper pad that has little houses in it, I'm in. <laughs> I'm getting it. So this is just an example of some of the... Look at how pretty this is. Little houses. So cute. So I got this and I used some of the pages last year but I didn't really go full on out like I wanted to 
and so I'm doing it this year. So that's all. Most of all, actually, all except for so, uh, maybe one or two paper pad pages are from here. Don't usually use these pockets in my black one. I definitely didn't use it. I didn't know how to use it. So this is just a piece of <laughs> scrapbook paper from Michaels. It's a foil paper by Recollections, and it's like a hollow pink. So cute, and it matched my whole pastel explosion paper pad so I uh, was yeah, yes and then at the same time they still had these pearlescent it's not hollow but it's very shimmery kind of shell pink um, scrapbook papers so I just cut a little bit and put that in there for because it looks like snowflakes and it's hollow so I was like oh this matches and then I got further in, uh, inspired by that because I'm kind of obsessed about it uh, and this is what I have so far built for my catch-all. So I do use a classic Happy Planner. These are the rings. I like to mix and match my rings. I don't like to keep it all one color just because. And it, I think it looks really cute. Plus, it doesn't, it's not boring. <laughs> it's really cute. I liked it. So what I did with this hollow paper is I cut it into a cover size. So it covers the tabs just as a first page. So pretty, the hollow. It's like a, it's a very light colored hollow because sometimes hollow can be kind of dark or kind of streaky. This is not, it's just like snow glitter. <laughs> and then here's the rest of that really pretty shell pink, uh, lacy, snowflakey kind of scrapbook paper. And then I did use some scrapbook pages from scrapbook.com. I was really, into scrapbook paper last year and I wanted to and I wanted a Pokemon catch them all so there were several lines that I was really late to the party on and this little uh, deer this is what's left of that so cute this was from the sugar cookie collection of um be called be uh, it's called beautiful christmas by frank garcia and prima marketing and then i just went down this whole prima marketing like rabbit hole because i'm all about this whole pastel life in the pink so pastel with an emphasis on pink i do believe prima marketing and frank garcia came out with another line this year but the focus was more like blue like uh not pastel -y blue like this but more like a like a I don't know cornflower blue and I'm like eh, I like pink so this is from the sugar cookie collection from uh, I think this was from 2019 because it was really hard to find anything left in sugar cookie and this one is from a page again from the sugar cookie collection and this one's called Sugar Sweet Christmas. So it's like this on one side, cutouts, cutaways, and then it's this really pretty pastel stained kind of colored boards. Sorry. And then this is the back of the deer one. It's just kind of like a really faint pink floral. But I love these cutaways because you can use them for anything in lots and lots of, th of different things. I'm not a crafter, so introducing myself to the world of card making and scrapbook papers legit was very eye-opening. <laughs> it was very interesting. So I cut those out, I glued it on, and to cover it, I used one of the do-it-yourself, like DIY happy planner covers. Last year I cut out a really cute piece of gift wrap paper that I used to wrap all my gifts last year. And I didn't like how this part was super see-through and then this part was kind of sticking out. So this year I'm, I flipped it upside down so that the open side is on the bottom and not a distraction. And it's just to protect this situation. I didn't want to put it inside the pocket because then I'd be in the same problem as I was last year. This way it stays covered, it stays protected, and it's good to go. When you put a classic happy planner into this binder or into this cover, it's a little bit bigger allowance to keep it uh, than the regular 
oh, I'm trying to say that a little bit easier. It's a little bigger. <laughs> so you can see here how it's about like eh, maybe half an inch from the sides. And it kept sliding. It kept sliding up and down inside the pocket. And so what I did is for the back cover, I just cut out a piece of cardboard and then I centered the my planner pages to be kind of like as in the middle as possible so that it would still be centered but then it won't be sliding so this is fit to it's cut to fit this perfectly and then that way it's not sliding also um nerd pro tip this cardboard was pretty flimsy and it wasn't enough to stand up to the the rings on an everyday basis so i used my Crocodile, we are memory keepers. Punch to punch through a little skinny piece of leftover plastic from one of the covers, you know, like that keeps your planner together when you buy it. I used a little piece of this, about like half of that, and I taped it. I don't know if you can kind of see that, but I, I, <laughs> I duct taped it. I'm one of those people, and I punched the holes with that taped over it so it was not only easier to punch but it is a little bit more resilient as uh you know because otherwise it was the rings were kind of brutalizing this really soft cardboard and i didn't have any like hard plastic to trim down i know everybody is doing the whole dollar tree cutting board thing but i haven't been there yet so this is good for now and it's really all i need this will be my planner until January, uh, into January, possibly February, so the cover, I mean. Okay, so see? Stay centered. It's not sliding up and down. It's just staying pretty stable. And then in here, I already have my December. So this is, uh, I made a big change kind of like right in the middle of the season. Originally, I was working in a, in the Alex House vertical lined box planner. It, I was really, really, really discouraged when Happy Planner decided not to use the same layout again in the 2022 Alex House release, seasonal release, and they went with color block. I think it was color block. But anyway, I need lines <laughs> i need lines to write and so my solution to that was to train myself now so that i wouldn't be like having a panic attack in january when i don't have a planner because my planner ran out of pages and i've been starting since november actually away from my triple it's like a regular vertical box but it was like lines all three boxes not just you know like the shaded one on top and then all the lines but Another thing that was really distracting about the... Let me just show it real quick. This is an old cover, but it's a notebook cover by Webster's Pages. So this was originally going to be my December. And it had these really long colored lines across, just like a vertical layout. Um, but I was always having to cut out strips of sticker paper to cover up these colored lines because sometimes they didn't fit the decor it kind of lucked out this month because it's kind of Christmassy colors but I'm more pastel this Christmas and I just don't have time to wipe this out every single day so instead what I chose to do is to take my teacher's uh, planner for 2022 it starts I started in July I think when back to school happened i think it was august and i'm going to cover up the margins here and then just print out date covers and the days and then just kind of personalize it that way this is an example of what it's going to look like so i have this is just a uh, scrapbook paper from that sugar plums I used scrapbook paper from the same paper pad to cover the margin on top, which is blank, like this. And then I created with my Silhouette Cameo uh, dates, date covers, and then the day as well. And so I try to do this part, like the pre-planning part, 
in the beginning of every month and so I'll finish the rest of the weeks probably here soon because it feels really good to have it already laid out and it's ready and all you have to do is just maybe add a sticker here and there but it gives me actually the most ample writing room and boxes than the regular standard vertical lined layout. With the vertical lined layout I was having to cover up the shaded box on top and it would um, I get an extra two lines here and an extra line here uh, to write stuff and if you guys if y'all haven't already been to a Daiso I highly recommend going to Daiso because their Christmas stuff is really cute and look at this washi tape it's like kind of like raffia it's so pretty and that's what I used on the bottom here but yeah so that's the first part this is the back of I just glued this scrapbook paper to the back of this scrapbook paper because it was white and I can't have that. So what I'm going to be creating now are covers for each divider. I have three sections that I need to make in this catch-all. I need to make a section for my daily sheets, I need to make a section for my work planner, and I need to take or make a section for any holiday things that I'm going to add in. So these are the pages that I'm going to be using. It's so cute, right? Sugar plums. Recollection sugar plums. That's my favorite. And then this one, oops, which is foiled. I'm not really a big fan of gold, but it's okay. It's cute. And one more. That's so, so cute. So I'll be using these for, oops, just kidding, forgot one more because of the houses. Houses are my favorite. So I'll be using these five divider covers to create the, um, to put in the beginning of each section of my catch-all. Franken planner, that's what we're doing, we're Franken planning. So what I do when I Franken plan and personalize my planners with scrapbook paper, I use the sticker guides from I don't know, like 2019, <laughs> that nobody ever uses for actual sticker planning, I don't think, but they use it for other crafty things. This is a clear one, uh, so the sticker guide comes in like uh, with a format of like horizontal and dashboard and monthly, but it also came with two that were just blank and it said custom. There it is. <laughs> See, it says custom right there. <laughs> uh, but I'm not using it for anything else. So I'm going to use it as a cover to protect the divider covers. Or the main ones anyway. And uh, that way I use a, what it, I have in my stash. And I use it as kind of like a template. To kind of see where I want to cut. Or what uh, scene I want to have as my cover. Instead of just lining it up and then kind of settling for what it is. So I will go ahead and cut this down and the other ones, and then we'll see how that works out into the rest of this planner. All right, so I went ahead and cut out, using this as a template, the sizes of the divider covers that I wanted for my classic Happy Planner. And I haven't punched them yet, but basically I just use this sticker guide as a template because it perfectly covers the divider pages without covering the tabs. And um, so I've got five of them. And they're so cute. Look at this. So cute. This and this and this and this and this. This was like the best scrapbook paper pad ever. I would have never, I never saw it coming. Like serious. And then later on that fall they came out or earlier in that fall they released the green witch paper pad and um they just uh they were just killing it last year and then i don't know what happened this year it was like this the ice skate kind of paper pad was like their pastel answer to this but it was like more on the blue cornflower blue side and then i was just like i'm out but thank goodness i'm a hoarder <laughs> so now I'm also going to see what the other ingredients are that I'll be using in my catch-all. So I will be doing a different 2022 planner setup and lineup video. But, I mean, basically it's going to be the same. So these are the ingredients that I'm going to be putting into my catch-all that I need to add in. So I do have the new 
Christmas holiday extension pack by the Happy Planner. This is from, ooh, I want to say it was from last year's. There's been, I think there's been three or four. Um, they started when I started Happy Planning in 2018. And so I don't know where that one is. But anyway, did you know that with the holiday extension packs, you can flip them over if you need to readjust where the tab is? Uh, I didn't in the beginning, <laughs> like three years ago, and then I realized it by accident and I was like, oh my gosh, this is, this is great. This is amazing because depending on where your monthly tab is, December is usually up here somewhere. And then if you have January too, it's like, you know, it, it covers and then it'll have like December and then whatever your extension pack tab is. So depending on how the print is facing, you can flip it. But just from the extension pack, all I really need, I don't do the parties or the memories or anything like that. Uh, I just need a really simple gift list, a stocking stuffer list, which I also use as a gift list. And this is double-sided. Sorry, the gift list is also double-sided. And a Christmas card list because this year I want to write down addresses instead of just having it in my phone because there have been several times when I didn't save the data and then I lost those addresses. So I'm going to write it down legit so that every year I have it ready. And then a note page just in case, for just in case. So that's basically all I need from the extension pack um, section. That's just going to be for the holiday, just for Yule. And then probably on the last day of Yule, I'll take it out. For next year. <laughs> uh, there might be some really cute um, things that I want to use with this. This is the Snap-in Clear Sheets Protectors. I'm telling you, I'm finding these everywhere. <laughs> it was like every time I ordered from the Happy Planner, I would order at least two of these because I was just like, oh, you know, they always are sold out at Joann's. I need to grab them. So I'm still finding these everywhere. And then I wanted to try to fill these with some really cute, maybe some of the cutouts, cutaways. This is from the, this is a classic size. And these page protectors came from, I think they were in 2019. They're not the memory keeping ones because the memory keeping ones are more sized for like, I don't know, they're bigger and they don't fit in a classic. But I was thinking I would like cut some cute cutaways in there. And then this is going to be my work planner. I have the Girl with Goals extension pack. This is for kind of like the second month. And I picked this one because I wanted it to kind of... It's like that. <laughs> See? Uh, I wanted to have it like this so that it'd be like December, um, the work planner, and then the notes. But anyway, the, um, it's got, I'm not going to be using the calendar or I might, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I might use just one page planner for them, one monthly page. And then it has goal set up worksheets and it has a priority list sheet and then more focus goal card sheets. And then you get a note sheet. some projects and some project details which i was kind of thinking i could use for social media i haven't decided yet but i mostly need this for the weekly so this is a weekly hourly layout and uh, i figured i can use this with my clients when i'm scheduling my clients like see what am i going to do with that i might as well have just had a whole thing of like time but anyway that's what i'm using it for and you get four weeks so I know that I burned through one first week, but at least I can use it for the rest of the month. Okay, so that is another section that we'll be putting in. And then daily sheets. So anybody that's been kind of struggling with daily sheets, like towards the end of summer, this is, um, that was an example of when I used. I was typically using the bait, you know, like the blush one had uh it's like very apricotty and then i found this online and it's a lot cuter i think i got this on mercari 
but um i think you can also find this on hob at hobby lobby but it's just more my vibe my style and also too like there was this big circle in the peachy one and i was just like bro I, what, what the heck am i going to do there instead it's like an actual kind of box and i could cover this if i don't want to use it for self-care and you write other stuff and then um the hourly or the checklist was on this side on the peach paper and then these reminders and note boxes were on this side and i just didn't like that layout it's easier to personalize and i just like pastels and on the back is not another day but note paper and this is what i really 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 needed because i personalize it like this for every hour <laughs> so i have it separated morning afternoon and evening kind of like bujo style and that way i can write down and keep track of what i do every hour or i can highlight certain things because it's not enough to do an hourly on this side daily sheet section and then this is like just keeping them divided and then I have my calendar page from the Alex house planner for 2022 ready to go okay so let's bring my planner back and move these aside for now and then I figured there'd be like some accessories or something in here so maybe to add towards the end all right oh and then another thing that i wanted to add was this really cool uh kind of like sticky notes from uh oh my goodness park lane <laughs> park lane at Joann's. A lot of people gave that line flack, but they have some really great accessories. Their planners are kind of sus, but I, at least their accessories were cute. And I use this in my monthly calendar to mark the full moons and the new moons, and then any other major like transits or stuff like that. It's really cute. And it comes on this really strong cardstock. So if they're ever on sale, if they ever have like a Park Lane stationery planner supplies sale at Joann's, I highly recommend it. They're really cute. And this moon fits perfectly inside the monthly box. Just saying. All right. So the first section is going to, the first divider is going to go here for the monthly. And we're going to be doing that using the greatest disc punch ever. Okay. So our page divider is ready and I'm about to punch so just to demonstrate how boss this we are memory keepers power uh, punch disc uh, punches I'm going to punch three of these at one time this is Michael's recollection scrapbook paper this don't play I'm telling you this punch if you're a planner babe, especially a happy planner babe or a disc system babe, this is your punch. So I have it pre-marked out, that little blue line there. That's my cats. Um, that is the marker for the first punch of a page. Oh, and here she is. Uh, because this guide is really handy, but where to start is kind of sketch. So... This is for the other marks that I use to set up my spiritual happy planner. So, girl! Okay, we're gonna do three pages. You ready? We're gonna do three pages. Her name is Tiza. She's got attitude or catitude. Oh. All right, so here we go. Three pages stacked. Before you punch, make sure they're facing the right way. This paper is so cute. It will do three, like no joke. So there's no easy way, it's kind of awkward, uh, but I'm gonna line it up with that blue line. And then once you make your first punch, you're good to go. Then you can use the guide to punch the rest. Which for me, this is so much easier. Look how easy that was, three pages, scrapbook paper. Um, then the happy planner punch, because so many times I've wasted so many pretty scrapbook papers because I couldn't see where I was punching and then they'd be off by a lot the newest happy planner punches like the white one and the stephanie one uh those were updated so the line alignments were correct but i got some of the first early ones and they were bootsy so i like this because also too i get to see where i'm punching and then you just kind of set it in the guide there 
and then you punch and then before you know it you're done and look three pages of cardstock And then that one was just two pages, but look how easy that was. Better than trying to line it up on that whole punch and praying and then, you know, aligning all the planets and minding the moon position in order to punch it and then hope for the best. Like, I, this is so much easier. Now we get to do what's going to go in front here. I really love this one, but I also really love this one, but I can trade it out. So, or I really like this one. Ooh. Okay, I like, okay, for now, let's just make an executive decision. Let me use, use this one because it has a combination of everything. It's kind of like, it's when it's washi tape. And then for that first page, I'm going to use the clear one, clear sheet. The one that I use as a template is also clear and I'm probably gonna use that too, but I'm just gonna use it towards the back. So just slap that in there and perfect. And doesn't get in the way. I'm not going to glue it to this because I don't feel like I need to. If I'm going to, if it's tricky to turn, then I'll, I might do some washi tape on the bottom, but it's really not that big a deal. I like it like that. Look at that. It's so cute. It looks so great with this next to it. All from the same paper pad again, Sugar Plums by Recollections at Michael's. This is from last year though, so unfortunately you can't get it anymore. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, then the next section after the weekly is going to be the daily section. So here are my daily pages. And then this is the divider that I'm going to be using the old planner babe one. Or maybe I should put it in the front because For now, I could always move it, but these are all just the plain daily sheets. So I'm going to put this right here. Girl, this is my other kitten <laughs> that is all up in my plan with me, my setup video. Good job. Good job. This is daily sheets. Excuse me. Okay. And then I'll put this here. I don't really have a divider for this because I don't really need it. I just grab a sheet and then I plan. So I think that'll be good for now. And then I use one example sheet so that I remember where the lines are so that when I'm pre-planning my week, I could just draw that out really quick. So I'll put that right here. Excuse me, assistant. I have a disgruntled assistant right here. <laughs> ah! Okay, thank you. All right, and then the next section will be my work planner. This is going to be the Girl with Goals. And I think I'm, so this is going to be my work and my social media together because there's so many sections in here. I believe I'm going to use the first beginning goal parts as a um, social media part. And then I'll still have my weekly hourly sheets for my clients and my one-on-one -on -one sessions for my energy work. I don't have any upper tabs yet except for this one for my daily sheets and I think I'm going to switch it out for this one because it has a middle tab here and then I have another tab that's on this first part for a today. Here's my today for the weekly planner. Happy planner, can you please make more dashboard dividers? things but with top tabs that would be great that are like all the way to the full length page i'm pretty sure you can bust out with five different tabs instead of the one kind of weird one and then the 
third one. Like, there, people use more than three tabs. I'm just saying, Happy Planner, please. That would be great. So, I'm going to put one down for the week. This week. Watcher. Watcher. Not, not. Okay, so we've got my today tab right here, top tab for the weekly, and then we've got the kind of middle ish one. Like, see, like that weird, it's like not in line. This is why I use clearance covers from Michaels <laughs> than get any of the hundred dollar ones like Moterm or anything like that. It's because of little babies like Watcher here. Huh, Watcher. So we're gonna pick a paper for here. I like... This is gonna be for my work! Uh, for my... Babe! For my work planner. Okay, Kitten Crisis Averted. Okay, so we're picking a page to cover the divider. This is not actually not a bad divider, but I just want to holiday it out a little bit. So I think I would like to use this one because it's going to be <laughs> my work planner. So I want it to be kind of happy. So that'll be my work divider section. And then for my daily sheets, I think I want to use this one. Kind of cute. Can I have another clear one? Let's see which my situation here. Okay, I'm gonna use this clear one here instead. I'm gonna figure out the tabs later. I also have stick-on tabs, so I'm over it. I might change out that washi. It's fine there. Um, and. Weekly, work, daily sheets. And I have two more. One will be for my holiday. Really don't need one for my holiday, but like I might as well. <laughs> Kind of. I mean, it's still kind of pastelly, but let's just let's just cover it anyway. That, and we can do this planner babe one, which I know a lot of people will say, "Oh my god, that totally defeats the purpose. Can't even see it." That could be true, but I know it's there. And when I first open the tab, I'll see that first. So that is really, really cute. And then one more for January. Oh, this is for my daily sheets. I think I'll... Yeah. So this is for my work planner. And then I'll also be able to double duty it. I'll know when I turn this that this will be daily sheets. Grab one every day or for the week. And then I'll have my work planner here. Perfect. And then this is to cover January. Because it's going to be like still winter vibes. But just maybe not super pastel because Kringled out. So and that's it. I'm not going to glue it. I'm just going to leave it. And then if I do get really irritated or I see like this is not really sticking to that, then I can always washi tape the bottom or I'll just tape the corners or I'll um, glue the corners. But that's it. You could do this in an hour. <laughs> okay, so now we can... Why are you getting stuck? Hey. Hey. Now let's add some accessories. So... This is the accessory pack from this year, the Planner Companion, sorry, the Holiday Companion, uh, Holiday Planner Companion Accessories. 
I can't find my ones in the previous years right now. It's locked away in some Christmas bin that I can't find. But it came with this cute little pouch this year with ooh, contrast lining, fancy. Um, maybe, possibly. This looks better with my uh, mini, so I might put it in my mini planner. And then I was thinking about cutting this out and then turning it into the cover, but I'm not really into farmhouse. I just like the colors. <laughs> okay, so when you open it up, there is three envelopes. So you get one long envelope, this cute little um, lights one, and then this oh what fun one. And I think what I'm going to do is I'll use this one for receipts, which I will put that here. This is right in between the big glittery cover. So I don't want that to be the first thing that I see. And then I'm going to save these two for my mini if they hopefully will fit. Because in the past they have not fit in my mini and it was very sad. And then there is this folder that you also get which totally matches my vibe. But I don't really need a folder and I'm not trying to bulk it out. I'm not trying to create reasons to have it, you know, in there. Uh, but I did want to, these are the two sticker sheets that come with it. Oh, they weren't as bright as I thought they were. Okay, back in here you go. But they did come with these really cute vision boards slash what we just created with the scrapbook paper. Mm, they're cute. This is the other vision board. Like I thought that was really pretty. And then that's the other side, and then there's this side, and then there's that side. But I liked the Sugar Plum stuff better, and it just coordinated with each other, so maybe for next year. I don't know why we still get these. I don't use these wet erase boards. Even with wet erase, they still get over everything, all over everything. Well, maybe I'm doing it wrong, but I am using the, the German-made wet erase pens. I forget the name of the brand, but like I, after the first time and it got all over my planner pages, I was just like, you know what? I'm over this trend. So I will put this back for next year to add to my other planner companion collections, holiday planner collections. The envelope is really all I wanted, and the little pouch that coordinates. <laughs> Okay, and then the last pieces I'll add are, um, this is to get ready for my 2022 planner. So I will put this 2022 calendar over here. I may have to trim the divider stems a little bit because they might be a little too tight against the rings, which is making it really hard to turn. Put this here for now. I'm not ready to set up 2022. Uh, I think for this, I'm only going to be putting like major uh, elemental spiritual stuff and then some, I don't know, major holidays. I haven't figured it out yet, but I will be using my monthlies this year. I haven't been for the past two years really, but I am committing to that for 2022 to challenge myself to use my monthly calendars because it is nice to have things at a glance. And these are the clear pages that I will probably use cutouts with. I just don't have any right now. But that's a good reminder. I might put like some memory keeping photos. My niece, who's like six years old, she likes to draw me something cute for my planner every year. So I'll probably put her artwork in here with cut to size uh, paper that she can draw on. So that might be kind of cute. I'm the, gotta do your best to auntie do these. Uh, little bits of accessories. This pouch is from Daiso. Uh, it's the Japanese dollar store. Technically, I mean, things range from $1.50 to $5. And I was thinking I could punch this and kind of use it, but then I forgot that I had this. I wanted to use this for stickers uh, because oftentimes I'll print out my own stickers and then I'll cut them with my silhouette and then there's some left over and then I could just put the die cut ones in here. What we'll do is I'm just going to keep this. Look at how cute this is. It's like a jelly and then it's got this cute little key. I'm going to tuck it in here 
for when I have my stickers. I feel, I feel a lot more comfortable about that. But I'm going to be using this probably all year round because I love all this pastel Hello Kitty-ish Sanrio Kawaii-ness all year round, 365. This is a really cute uh, paper clip that I got from the uh, Lays NYE Create Shop. <laughs> I don't know what, but it was a cute little uh, paper clip bow that I never used. So I figured I could kind of slip this on here just to add it, add some bling. And this I bought two years ago, last year, uh, 2019. So I don't know if this is still available, but look how pretty that is. Super hollow. I think I love hollow possibly almost as much as uh, Jojo with Mojo Jojo plans, possibly. Although she's like the maximum. Alright, that's kind of cute. This is just hooked onto the paper. That's cute. Alright, sweet. And then I've got these little pom-poms that my sister gifted me. I believe this is from Hobby Lobby. We don't have Hobby Lobby in San Francisco, so usually stuff like that comes from my sister. So I might add like another pom and pom there, just to kind of Make it kind of more festive. Let's do the green for contrast. I'm not a big gold fan, but it's fine. And then let's do yellow. That's cute. And then I did have, I bought on Amazon the adhesive clear pockets to put here, but I can't find them. And then for these divider pages, I am obsessed with my corner page rounder, but I can't find the corner punch. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Else came in in the middle of the night and messed up my display of like things that I was going to be using today. So, but I found that this probably looks better with the clear tab in front of it than a rounded corner because this one is sharp. I haven't gotten the guts to round off the guide sheets yet because I think it looks pretty smart and this is also not rounded off like the regular happy planner divider pages so it kind of flows better you don't get to see like a weird thing in the back so I'm just gonna keep those unrounded for now it's taking a lot but yeah and then I don't really put any pom-poms or anything on here but maybe we'll do it for this little holiday thing because it's literally just been sitting in my stash just sitting in my stash not doing anything so let's do that and then I will put a palm here for my daily sheets oh my gosh it's it's inverted y'all look it's kind of sleepy <laughs> this pom pom's kind of on the sleepy side wake up maybe Put that little sleepy one right there. Perfect. That's cute. It's different. I've never really done this, so I think it looks cute. And then I think that does it. So to flip through it all again, well, we've got the scrapbook paper here. We've got a little pouch here for my stickers, my die cut ones. Um, this is just for decoration. This is the cover, clear cover sheet, DIY cover sheet. The opening is on the bottom, just using as a protective cover over the big cover. And then you open it up. You've got the receipt envelope, which I appreciate, Happy Planner, that it's not here. <laughs> Opens on this side. I, there might have been a year when I did it wrong. <laughs> or maybe be easier like that. See? That looks weird. But anyway. Got the receipt envelope here for any purchases for gifts and stuff. Then I will be filling these with some cutouts from the cut aparts in my scrapbook paper. The first divider is for the week. This is an example of the teacher's planner that I'll be using into 2022. Then we've got 
my work planner. Actually, this is the daily sheets. So I can just take a pre-planned daily sheet here and then plan out my day. I try to pre-plan these for the whole week. So seven if I need it, but I usually just do three without dating it or putting the day. That way, if I don't end up using it for the week, it doesn't already have like a date on it and I can move it forward to the next week. But I'll try to do as many stickers and cute things to it as possible. And then I'll graph out my schedule in the back. This is an example of that. I'm going to graph it out. Then my work planner. This is going to be work and social media. And let's do this. So I think I'm going to use this for social media. And then I have this section here with the Planner Babe uh, divider for my weekly. Where'd the weekly go? Okay, let's move that over. There we go. And then I've got my actual holiday part, which is this. And I have a stocking stuffer slash gift list, two pages. And then I've got a longer one in case I need it. And then I have an actual Christmas card list where I'm going to write my friends' addresses down. And then preview into January. I already have that ready to go. So... Let's close this up and see what it looks like from the front. All right, cute. I like it. Thank you so much everyone for joining me for my setup of my holiday and December catch all Frank and Planned Happy Planner Classic. I hope you've enjoyed this little pastel explosion adventure with me. <laughs> uh, this holiday season as the energies get a little bit more hectic um, a little bit bumpy towards the hurtling of 2022, may we all aspire to find that energetic balance and connection to our own loving spirit and our own inner brightness today. Until next time, friends in pause, happy holidays. May you stay blessed, protected, and healthy. Bye.